I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, share this mother effer out. We've got ourselves a bona fide new star in country music. And this guy, man, he dropped a jam out there called Rich Men North of Richmond. And this thing has taken over the internet it is skyrocketing up iTunes right now. John Rich has rich, reached out to him. Um, they're already talking about maybe they can do something, yada, yada, yada. Um, this guy is hes becoming a star overnight. And he's a regular Joe, and he's got a jam that truly is resonating with people all around the country. You know you're getting people upset when the hit pieces start coming out and i'm just going to give you an example really fast let me bring this up this is the headline on a rolling stones article today right-wing influencers just found their new country song oh boy when they're getting hit pieces when when you're getting their hit pieces coming out and this is the same thing by, by the way they did with jason aldean this is exactly what they did. Try that in a small town. Dude, when you start ruffling the feathers of Rolling Stone, which is ultra left wing, you are doing something right. Let's get to this. This guy is blowing people away. We will go over. We will look. Guys, 4.2 million views on this video for Oliver Anthony. I can't play it. Get a copyright strike, and we will... Look at some of the feedback that proud Americans are giving on this song because it is unbelievable. It's awesome. It truly is. And in case you're wondering this guy's style, I said, I told my wife this morning, Mrs. Rance, that if David Allen Cole and Mumford and Sons had a baby, it would pop out something that looks and acts and sings like this. It's got a very bluegrass gospel uh very country down the earth there's some folksy in there it's just really damn good and the and the the words to the song is what's resonating with people i mean these days it's all left-wing politics it's all vulgarity that's get celebrated and this and that and the other and look it's not like this guy's his song is not super clean it is not it is not a void of a curse word or two because he's trying to get a point across but it's not vulgar and it sends a message fox news a new blue collar political anthem is taking the internet by storm just days after hitting the web Virginia native Oliver Anthony's song, Rich Men, North of Richmond, is a twangy, soulful, bluegrass song detailing the frustration of a blue-collar man fed up with the leadership in Washington. Amen, brother. The song torches high taxes and lawmakers for turning their attention away from working men and women of America to, quote, minors on an island somewhere. An apparent reference to the offshore treatment where the late convicted child offender Jeffrey Epstein hosted some influential people, and there's still not enough being said about that. Rich men north of Richmond also contrast starving people in the street to obese Americans milking welfare. God, it's good. And the epidemic of suicides in young men. Quote, this is a, this is, this is a little snippet of what was said in the song. Quote, well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bag of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Guys, the feedback is unbelievable on this song. Let's just look. I mean, guys, it's this is crazy. And guys, you got to check this song out. First comment 
This is not a song. It's an anthem for 80 million Americans who have been smeared, ignored, mocked, slandered, and robbed by their own government. Thank you, Oliver Anthony. Amen, brother. We need to spread this video far and wide. Everyone share the hell out of this. You did it, brother. This is the song that will make the breakthrough, and we the people will make sure of it. Sharing this everywhere. God bless, brother. We got you. Hear you loud and clear, brother. We are likely to see a huge cultural shift soon. People are waking up to the bull that is happening. We need to take the country back from criminals that are tearing it apart. Money doesn't make you rich. It just means you have money. Anthony has a rich soul, mind, and talent. A true rich man. Indeed, what a saint. This is a message Americans want to hear. People will be blasting this all over. Absolutely stunning. Congratulations for speaking for all of us. God bless. Being a native of Virginia and only 50 minutes from Richmond, this song hits so deep for me. I'm so proud of this cultural moment. Huge so, amazing talent, hits me so hard to the core. Speaking for all of us, us blue collars, 18-year iron worker, 10 years. Uh, it says, I guess, elevated mechanic. I don't know. Some kind of mechanic, maybe. In the world, our feeling. Thank you, Oliver, for making the best protest song of this new world and generation. Waylon and Cash would agree. You're already in their space. You don't know it yet. Thank you. God bless, good sir. You caught lightning in a bottle. This is an iconic moment in protest music history. Major respect. And yeah, it's, look, it, like I said, it's got vibes of, this is what uh, John Rich, John, John Rich shared this out right here. That's his uh, X account, artist formerly known as Twitter, right there. 165,000 followers. I'm still in a state of shock at the outpouring of love I've seen in the comments, messages, and emails. I'm working to respond to everyone as quick as possible. What a good dude. What a good dude. It's been uploaded to all major streaming platforms and will show up there in a few days. I cannot wait to see how this ends up coming out for him. I can't wait to see the charts. I can't wait to see the sales. I mean, this song has just taken over. I said it's kind of Mumford and Sons. It's got the messaging of a David Allen Cole, Johnny Cash, Waylon, absolutely, the Highwaymen, Mumford and Sons in there, some folksiness, bluegrass. It's really great. It's a great jam. And people are fed up. People are looking for some way to get their voice out there. A lot of times, it is music that does it. You're kind of seeing this. This may have started with the Jason Aldean thing and, and, and how that took a hold of the landscape. And then you'll have Oliver Anthony. And then we'll have maybe another guy that will step up. And it will keep rolling from there over in rap. Tom McDonald. You know, we've all heard him. Um, 4G Auto Blow. Very big on, on being a uh, supporter of President Trump. It's good stuff, guys. I, I wanted to make a video on this guy because I think it's awesome. An everyday dude making it. Um, the amount of likes on this video... Uh, 288,000 to only 1,100 dislikes. So he is resonating. <laughs> and, and look, the lefties will come after this. We know they will. Rolling Stone will be the first one. They'll be hit pieces, start dropping out of places. Good. Piss them all off. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.